If you can't beat them, fire them. That's the mantra of the modern-day NHL team. And my, oh my, have there been a lot of firings. Since the start of last season, 18 bench bosses have been, well, as the press releases would put it, relieved of their coaching duties. But what those releases actually mean is... You're fired. John Hines, Peter Laviolette, Dallas Eakins, Daryl Sutter, Jar Gallant, Brad Larson, Mike Babcock, Jay Woodcroft, Dean Evison, Craig Berube, DJ Smith, Lane Lambert, Todd McClellan, Lindy Roth, Don Granato, David Quinn, Dave Haxtell, and finally, Sheldon Keefe. They took our jobs! Oh, yeah, yeah, they're down! They took our jobs! They did! Well, it's crazy how many have been canned in such a short period of time. It's even more absurd when consider Keefe, Haxtell, Ruff, McClellan. They all had contract extensions that hadn't even started yet. Looking at current coaches, think about how someone like Rick Tuck, who's been around for just over a year and is over halfway to the average lifespan of an NHL bench boss of 1.9 years. The MLB, NFL, and NBA, meanwhile, all hovering between three and a half and four years. Oh, but hang on, we're not done with graphs. Let's dive into this. So John Cooper is the most tenured coach and the only coach to be with his team for over 10 years. And then at the complete opposite end of the spectrum, over 80% of current coaches have been with their teams for less than two years. The NBA and MLB hover around 45%, while the NFL sits at 37.5%. whoop de doo What does it all mean, Basil? Ah, great question. So in the world of the flat cap, which we've had since COVID, organizations have been short on ways to shake up a team. Not a lot of player movement. So if a team doesn't reach expectations, the coach is the easiest casualty. Pete DeBoer, who holds a whopping 1.91 years of tenure in Big D, contextualized the phenomenon recently like this. We coach in an age where everyone talks about the modern athlete building relationships in order to coach them. And how do you do that with that kind of turnover? It's like going on a date and getting married and divorced before the appetizers show up. Well, it doesn't seem like any other coach is at risk of divorce this season. We can't say that for certain. And with saying that, the question at the tip of every hockey fan's tongue is... Who's next? 